Well, is Utah's child welfare system broken? It depends on who you ask. Yeah, over the last several months, KSL investigators have spent time speaking with families and advocates who say that the system isn't serving children as intended. Now, some lawmakers tell KSL investigator Daniela Rivera it's time for big changes. You Mia Chase back. wanted to help. What's happening to the little kids who have no control? That's why she became a court-appointed volunteer advocating for children inside Utah's child welfare system. But she says she stopped volunteering after witnessing too much dysfunction in how Utah's Division of Child and Family Services operates. The final straw, she says, was seeing inaccurate reports submitted to the courts. The kids that I've worked with have suffered a lot inside the system. I don't know that it's worse or better than the home they came from. It sounds like you're describing a broken system. Very broken. She took her concerns to lawmakers. We owe so much more to these vulnerable children. Who say it's time to do better. That is the worst type of government uh, consequence that we don't want to have happen. That because she was so proactive, because she was such a great advocate, she was pushed out of the system. Republican representatives like Candace Perucci and Kara Berkland are calling for systemic changes within DCFS, including a shift in the department's culture. Because I feel like a lot of it is is really cultural. As Berkland you know. is speaking from her own experience serving as a foster parent in Utah. She says eventually she too had to step away, feeling unsupported by DCFS as she tried to make a difference. It wasn't the kids that were hard. It wasn't even the biological parents who were struggling to care for their kids that were hard. It was the system. The KSL investigators frequently hear from parents and foster families involved in difficult child welfare cases and experiencing concerns. If this is happening to us, who else could it be happening to? Kevin Leary found DCFS reports filed in their family court case were riddled with inaccuracies. And Kaylee Jones and Nicholas Hulse believe DCFS relied on faulty drug test results to keep them from their kids. It's my kids. Like, I can't not say, hey, over here, hey, help, hey, somebody, please. These parents and others telling us when they raise concerns, they fear retaliation. We'll get retaliated against, yeah, I think if you're noisy, yeah, that's a problem. I've Is heard there... many of those same things you from have. constituents. I have felt some of those same things as a foster parent. Berkland and Perucci also see addressing an ongoing turnover crisis among caseworkers as a top priority. They're just overworked and underpaid. But unfortunately, if we're not correcting that problem and providing the best resources, we're going to continue to see people saying, I'm here for the kids, but I can't work in a system that isn't really there for the kids at the end of the day. Utah increased starting pay for caseworkers to $20 per hour last year. DCFS says more than 94% of its frontline staff were impacted by that raise. As of right now, they have vacant positions in every region in the state. And more than half of all caseworkers have less than three years of experience. When you can go to Taco Bell and make 18 an hour, or you know Chick-fil-A and make 16 an hour and get scholarships to, you know, what, what would make you want to stay in such a high stress, high intense job, right? Perucci says this year she's considering additional funding requests. While also acknowledging throwing money at a problem isn't always the solution and if there are issues within the system we need to work that out. While DCFS did not agree to an interview for this report, a DCFS official told us in a previous interview that DCFS does not condone retaliation and they would want to look into those concerns. The department has released a statement that says in part, we welcome the opportunity to hear from and partner with state leadership and legislators in our important work of safe children and strengthened families. And if there's something you want our team to investigate, call or text the number on your screen or send me an email at daniella at ksl.com. Mike and Ashley. Danny, thank you.